Hey everyone, I'm Wigo Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Wigo stands for when you get old. All right, I feel like I've done too much talking. I am so excited and really want to dive in to the Beautylish 2024 Lucky Bag. I have the $150 XL, which after a $20 shipping fee and $17 tax, cost me a whopping $187. I got a notification from Beautylish that the package shipped. It went out January 11th. I'm filming this on Tuesday, January the 16th. When I clicked the tracking number, FedEx said it would be delivered Sunday the 14th. No. So I had to wait a couple extra days. All right, enough babbling on. Uh, beautiful paper. We will just let other people read the card. Uh, I can't tell you how many uh, videos I've watched where they didn't start unboxing until like minute two, three, four, which is way too long. All right, quick sneak peek. All right, that's it. I'm going to uh, put this in front of me, not look, just grab and go like this that I don't get too many hair care products. Hello, my hair short and that the palettes I get aren't from Wayne Goss. Sorry, Wayne, but no. All right, first item. Okay, this is from Holly Frog. And what is this? Solar Daily Mineral Sunscreen. Yay! Okay, I know it's only a sunscreen. Uh, SPF 30. But I've seen the other Holly Frog products people have gotten, and I was really hoping I got the sunscreen. So, so far, lucky for me. All right, ooh, we have a big box here from Good Molecules. They always throw a Good Molecules into one of these boxes. Uh, this, however, is the product I didn't want to get. It's the Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel. It's just, I have so many cleansing gels, and I would have rather had the eye serum. All right, I feel like what could be a palette, so I'm going to skip over that. And, ooh, okay, so I have seen this in many, many boxes. This is from Viziart. And this is the Florette Amour, which is a six pan palette or four pan with some um, blushes. But what's interesting, as and other people pointed out, the packaging makes it look like it's a soft peach palette, but it's actually uh, kind of a violet purple. We're gonna set that aside and move on to see what else I got. No, not the ghost oil. Is this, yep, I could tell by feeling it. Oh, I feel like I got a bag that everyone else got. I haven't seen anything new or different or exciting yet. Um, so this is from Verb, in case I didn't mention that. Again, short hair. I don't care for um, hair care products. What are you? Ooh, Natasha Denona. This is probably going to be a highlighter. Can you tell? I've watched many <laughs> unboxings. And I feel like my box, it isn't bad, but it's not special. Like, I've seen this iteration. All right, so this is what she looks like. Beautiful imprint. Um, I feel like it's going to be a good shade. Where is it? Right there. All right, if you aren't subscribed yet, I would love if you would do that. I will be doing a follow-up video trying on everything I got in this box. All right, next product. I think this is going to be from RMS. Yes, RMS Beauty. Yes, I've watched many unboxings. All right, so this is in the shade Rhapsody. The same shade is what everyone else is getting as well. And it comes in, interestingly, for a lip product, this is a metal tube, which is really cold because it's freezing outside. And that's what she looks like. It looks really dark, but if I remember from swatches, it will sheer out. I don't have time for this. Come on, squeeze out. Somebody else had that same problem. All right, it's right there. Little dibbity dab. Uh, catch the try on video because I'm dying to know did I get a Sonia G brush? That's all I really want. Do I have a Sonia G brush? All right, next. No. <laughs> These are from Slip. They're hair scrunchy. There's nothing to scrunch on my head. All right, next item. Don't fall out. All right, so, okay. I was told myself I would be happy if I got anything from Charlotte Tilbury. This here's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit in the shades Contour Chameleon and, of course, Pillow Talk. This is what the packaging looks like. They are just kind of fat um, pencil eyeshadows 
very reminiscent of the ones that NYX has, except for these are way, way pricier and a little more bougie. All right, I'm sad. I'm not feeling any brushes. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. Yes. Sony G brush. I'm assuming because it looks like every other brush people got. Yep, Sonia G. And this here, what is this? A, I think it's just an eyeshadow brush. What do they call it? The Worker M. I spend $150. I want at least a Sonia G brush. Okay, now on to the last product. Yes, empty. And I think... I know what this is. Yes. Okay. I've never owned a Danessa Myricks palette before in my life. This here is the Dimensions 5, I believe. No, Light Work Volume 5. Dimensions. What am I thinking of? Um, I'm sure you've seen this. You probably already own it. And if you know me, you know that this is probably way too adventurous for me however i still love makeup and this is a palette i would never buy on my own but i'm happy to have it in my life i would say my bag was fairly lucky what it wasn't was different new or exciting because the majority of the people i've seen unbox their lucky bag have gotten this exact iteration like exact but I am very pleased that my palette was not from Wayne Goss, mainly because I got Wayne Goss products last year and I also did a separate uh, Wayne Goss mystery bag. It's not that I don't like Wayne Goss, it's just I already own some of that stuff. All right, let's recap everything I got in the 2024 Beautylish Lucky Bag XL. I got a pure silk skinny scrunchie from Slip, the ghost oil from Verb, the lights lip gloss from RMS Beauty, the Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel from Good Molecules, the Solar Daily Mineral Sunscreen in SPF 30 from Holifrog, the Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit from Charlotte Tilbury, the Viseart Florette Amour Eyeshadow Palette, the Natasha Denona Pastel Plex Glow Highlighter, the Worker M Eyeshadow Brush from Sonia G, and the Light Work Volume 5 Eyeshadow Palette from Danessa Myricks. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, holy cow, I spent $187 and ended up with 10 beauty products. I'm gonna list the MSRP total value. I'm fairly certain this is in the high 300s, if not over $400 value. Am I happy with my box this year? Yes. Was I happier last year? Yes. I guess it's on me for watching so many videos. I just feel that this year in particular, a lot of the boxes were same -Z. Um, So it was not that I don't like my box. It's just, there was no surprise factor. It literally was just like 15 other people's uh, boxes. And that's where I was a little, little let down because I really wanted to see something new, different and exciting but I will enjoy these products. All right, now I wanna hear from you. Did you get the box? What did you get in your box? Are you bummed you didn't pick up the box? Did you get a Natasha Denona palette or a Charlotte Tilbury palette? That's what I really wanted. Were you lucky enough to get a full brush set from Sonia G? That is my dream product. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would really love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you're aware of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking that thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.